So, hello there, and welcome to Budget Model Railways, the home of doing things cheaply and simply. Now, um, as some of you probably know, I've got a bit of an interest in 009. Our first layout we ever built was 009. You can get quite a lot of rolling stock for that now, but it's very, very expensive. I haven't checked the prices, but I think it's about 15, 20 pound a coach. So what I wanted to do is just see if I could make, find an easy way of making little 009 coaches. You'll know that I scratch built one uh, for Roselands Hill. What's made all this possible now is this from Pico. Um, there's your part number there, GR104. And these are little um, bogies for making your own coaches. They run really smoothly and they've got these much better couplings. What put me off what I was trying to do with 009 was trying to use end couplings, which don't work very well. These are 525 a pair, that sort of price. What I've also got here is the very common little Hornby uh, four wheel coach. This is a body I got really for pence, about 50p. Um, these are available new at about £17, but you can pick them up cheap second hand. Douglas got one for 50p at a car boot sale recently. So what I want to see is if we can cut this up to make a little short 009 coach. So what we're going to do first is take the roof off. Now I've already pre-done it. What you do is you push the windows down and in and then that can pull out. And you can see that's got the roof and windows all in one. And that leaves us with this nice body with quite a nice lot of relief work. Now what we're going to do first, we're going to take these pegs off. I'm just going to use a razor saw to do that. Uh, I'm sure Douglas can, what do you call it? Time, Time lapse this so you don't have to watch the, all of this. But that's relatively simple. Do watch these razor saws. They're called razor saws for a reason. They're as sharp as a razor. Uh, I did a lot of kit bashing, scratch building when I was a teenager. And I spent most of my time with quite nasty cuts all over my hands from using that actual saw. So to keep this simple, what we're going to do is we're going to saw down the two lines here that are already molded on because that will give us a line to cut to and it will also give us a clean edge and hopefully a finish and a narrower coach because I'm quite happy with the height. Um, I don't see how you can reduce the height over much and the length is about right, it's just the width. So I'm only gonna use a hacksaw, I think. Let's have a little go with the razor saw. I find the razor saw not very accurate but let's just have a go and see. So you can see here now we've got our two relatively parallel cuts and we can clean them up a bit later. We're going to take this middle bit out. I'm just going to do the other end the same. So really we're just cutting the, obviously the long length out of the middle of here, it's hopefully. Fairly self-explanatory. And we have one side. There we go. So what we're going to do now what is obviously sand off to try and get a nice flat parallel side on each because then obviously what we're going to do is join them back together like that giving us a little narrow 009 coach and actually that's worked really quite well ah the roof is quite clever so we'll show you that in a minute these then we're obviously just going to simply glue together like that seems to have worked quite well. Just needs a little bit of filler at one end, not so much the other. So, nice and simple, masking tape, glue. This will glue very strongly because we've got a very rough shorn edge and what that will have done is taken the shine off the plastic. Quite often you hear people saying that they can't get glues to work on these sort of plastics and you can see the shiny surface and that the glue doesn't like going into that but that'll go into there quite nicely. 
So that then is going to hold that. What we've now got to do is obviously cut the roof down in a similar way to fit. A um, little bit trickier because we've got to get the internal. But when I looked at it earlier, I think if we go through the middle of these, that will probably give us the line and then we can play with it. And then what I'm hoping is that that will simply slot back in. Yeah, it goes more or less straight through that line. So what we're going to try and do is saw through there. That one's got a bit of a lump on it. So we're going to go through there. So where I'm cutting is, is exactly right through the middle of the ventilators on each. Which is a nice easy mark to find. And you can see that what I'm doing here is not starting at one end but trying to do it as a relatively straight cut. That's one, and then you can see the idea is that will then sit back down in there. So let's try and do the other one now. This will be a bit more fiddly to do. I'm going to put a bit of a weight there, just something to lift, lift it up. And then this again, it's got to go right through the middle. Advice would make it easier if you had a proper tool room. But then you see again, I I know that most people haven't got a big well-equipped tool shop tool shed. So it's quite nice to show that you don't need a lot of space to make quite interesting models. Quite fiddly this bit, a bit fiddlier than I thought it was going to be. And I've not done this before, so this isn't a project I've tried. We're literally trying this as we go along. So what I'm going to try and do now is just trim off some of the lumps. And we now need to give this a really good need to give this a really good clean up now. I really need what I haven't got here, which is um big metal file that I've got. Because obviously what we're gonna try and do is get those two. To fit in there like that. That's the plan. So we just need to take a little bit off the roofs through the middle. And obviously the roof's gonna want a bit more work, so we'll come back to that. So what we're gonna try and do now is to put these on. So I wanna just work out roughly where they've gotta go. And then we're just going to mark that. And then we're going to try and drill it. Uh, I'm going to need my assistant for this. So you need to hold that. You need to hold it on the board, not hold it in the air. Okay. Now, in theory, according to the instruction, there we go, goes in there. That one's a little bit of filing just to make it smoother, but you get the idea. And then you have to push them together to get them out. Excuse us if we a little bit of lost of continuity there, the battery died on us. Um, so we've now got a, a new battery in. So I'm just going to put the other hole for the other bogey. So 
that's got a rubber hole in. Just need to clean inside so that they work properly. And then we're going to do the roof. I'm just going to try and clean this up just a little bit more. And this we've still got a few bumps. I'm just going to take those off. So what we're going to try doing here is just fixing these in like that. And then obviously we'll need to fill the roof when it's done. But what we're going to try and do and glue that in place. And then we're nearly done here to just this is just really to see if it's a goer. I know it would need the roof needs filling. Um, the body ideally you would Re, I'd, I'd repaint. Not going to like being clay, I don't think. So, what we'll just do, if you can accept that we're going to have to have a little bit of masking tape on the roof here. So, I'm just pushing the bogies on. They spin quite freely. Need a little bit of work on those. But there you have a little double bogey 09 coach that looks about the same dimensions to me as the Pico Linston and Barnstable widths and height. It's probably a teeny bit tall, um, but you've still got to get four.